First up, mm. in 1984, he made his national television debut on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and the rest. Well, it's history. He's performed stand-up across the globe, and uh, recently he's proven he looks pretty darn good in a dress. He certainly does. You can pull it off, and that dress now, you've got an Emmy Award for it. Emmy Award winner, comedian, Mr. Louis Anderson. Good morning. Can I say, watching, uh, seeing you accept at the Emmys was the coolest freaking experience. Thanks. To see it that. It was so much fun. Well, t tell, tell me, uh, first of all, congratulations on the Emmy. What, what was that like, well, emotionally? Well, you're sitting there and you're going, they're reading everybody off. Yeah. The nominees, you go, ooh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Modern Family, ooh. Oh, oh, see, Modern Family, that's everybody. a tough one. Yeah. 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 Veep, oh, he won last year. Ooh. Ooh. Right. And then they, <laughs> they go, uh, <clears throat> they read your name and you go, ha ha. <laughs> I mean, inside, yeah. inside. <laughs> yeah. you just go, ah, ah. No, and then you're just in shock. You're a little bit. Then you hug everybody, and then you go, "Where are the stairs? How many are there? How <laughs> hard will it be to get up there?" Oh my God. Um, and then I just, uh, I was, I had a speech because I, you know, I, my fans, the first week of baskets, yeah, started saying you're going to win the Emmy. Wow. The first week. That's awesome. So. Like every week, all the time, all the time. So I go, huh. You don't want to get your heart attached, though. Because no. Because heartbreak, yeah. No, well, no, because the competition was so great. Yeah, of course. They were great people. And so I'm, you know, I'm as good a loser as I can be. <laughs> I've been a loser for 33 years. <laughs> ah! Ah, Not true. You gotta, you gotta lose with class. Yes. Well, I, I, and I did the story on baskets uh, the week it premiered back That's in right. LA, and um, I, it came on really strong. There, yeah. there's, they weren't sure if people were gonna like it because it's, it's different. Yeah. And it, it, people fell in love with it. Yeah. From people, the beginning. I know it's amazing. Like people will come up to me on the street and it'll be like a family of four and go. We love baskets. I go, you can just tell people. It's not illegal. It's like a, uh, it's like it's like a, a cult. Secret. You can go. Oh, you're, there I am. There you are. Christine, I mean, okay. So you're, 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 give, you're pitched this role. Uh, you're going to play a woman. Yeah, I mean, Louis C.K. called me and said, Zach and I are doing a sitcom. Will you do a part? And I go, yeah. It was right down the street. I was in my car. Oh, wow. He no goes, uh, he goes uh, we want you to play Zach's mom. And I go, yes. <laughs> I, I immediately embraced it, and then I went, we did the pilot, and then when you do the pilot, you wonder, what should I, what voice should I have for a mom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I said to the director, I'm just going to do my voice. I'm not going to change my voice. And he goes, good. He's a great director, mm -hmm. Jonathan Christ of Portlandia, yep. man-seeking oh, woman. Really? He, yeah, he's wow. really great. And he just said, yeah. Real, like, casual. Yeah. And I went, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just did the part, and uh, it was a very short yeah. part for me. And that lesson, probably a m two minutes or three minutes. But that's the thing the that everyone thing. ended up talking wow. about. And that people love that part yeah. where I had the spit take. And that was actually not going to be a spit take. I was going to down the whole Kirkland <laughs> drink. And then in the middle of it, I went, you can't do it. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I said, don't, don't laugh. I went, whew, that was refreshing. <laughs> You know, or that hit the spot, something like that. You and didn't so want to ruin the take. That, yeah. But if you watch Sweet. Zach, yeah. he is laughing in the big cup he was drinking. He is dying laughing. Which is impressive oh for him God. to try to hold yeah. in laughing. That's what we do. Yeah. We try to make each other laugh. I, I love <laughs> learning that you actually base the character on your own mother. I do, or a Zella Anderson. Yes. Yeah. A, a lovely lady, I'm, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, she raised 11 kids. I was 10th of 11. I just slid out. <laughs> I was. Oh my is it too early for this? I was home from the hospital before she was. And where are you in the lineup of eleven kids? Tenth. Tenth. Oh wow. Yeah, that's yeah, okay, wow. Okay. Uh, or okay. mostly. Yeah. Go ahead. Or we're running out of time. I want to make sure yeah. we, we get people this yes. show. Yes. There's a show. Yes. Christine not showing. It. He'll you'll be there. Yes. Come tonight. Come tonight to the Red Rock. The Rock Lounge with Louis Anderson. We're all glassed in there. It's a rockin' time. It is a real, Tonight it's a cool venue. tomorrow, 8 o'clock, Lou McGillowitz will be there opening the show. I love Lou. I try to get my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just gotta, it's a, well, I'm used to wearing dresses, so I gotta get, 
I got to have uh, some pantsholes. Dra Dragon dresses as a man liberating? It's not yes, good, it's the it? best thing, except for how much work you have to go through every morning. Because guys somebody has just to zip wake it up from and behind, go, too. Is that good? Uh, yeah. Can I just wear this again? <laughs> is it wrong to wear a shirt for a month? <laughs> what do you find? Tell me what you found the difference is. Uh, well, you're freer, uh, you know. You're There's a lot of breeze? comfort, yes. Yeah. And um, and there is. <laughs> like, you can't sit like this no. when you're dressed as a woman. So, mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I'm having a blast. You know, we finished the second season. It's better than the first season. Nice. I live tweeted last night. It was so much fun. People ask me questions, you know. Do you really shop at Costco? I go, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? Oh, Costco's great. You know what else I, I think is unique about you is you're actually a man of prayer, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am. Tell we were just about talking that. about starting a church on the way over here. No the Church kidding. of Laughter. Oh, my. We just thought, what about the Church of Laughter? Testify. Yes. I mean, Hi, everybody. I can't stay long. I'm in between gods. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just, no, just the idea, though, that, you know, laughter should be the biggest one. You know, three things. You know, you should... You should be brought to tears every day, they say, for emotions. Yeah. Mm. You should laugh, and you should think of something that, you know, you should be really, like, you know, conscious of, of the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also, mm -hmm. you should get lunch or breakfast. For sure. There should exactly. be four things you in gotta it. you got to get that in there. It's great having you, buddy. Congratulations so nice to see everything. you guys. Have a great weekend. Morning, Blend. Don't miss it. Woo! Put that in a promo. We just got a shout-out. Morning, Blend. Morning, Blend. <laughs> Watch out, Las Vegas, because this weekend, Louis Anderson takes over the Rocks Lounge inside Red Rock, Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa Friday and Saturday, 8 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at Station Casino's Reward Center and the Fiestas, along with Ticketmaster. We have just got an Emmy Award-winning promo. That's fantastic. That was awesome. I feel a... a an award coming on you right 